TV3 Studios. This is Acadiana's News Channel at 6. Immigrants uh, here in the state, people that are often taken advantage of, that are seen as having less rights, but under our Constitution, if they're here, they have the right to due process. The law that allowed for the arrest of illegal immigrants by local officers has been struck down. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for choosing Acadiana's News Channel at 6 o'clock. The Louisiana Supreme Court has struck down a state law that forced drivers to prove their citizenship. The case all started in Lafayette Parish. The Public Defender's Office spoke up after three people who were arrested challenged that law. They were arrested for driving without proper documentation. This was a felony and punishable by up to one year in jail. So why was this state law overruled and what will this change? Our Allison born Vinek has both sides of this case. The Louisiana Supreme Court decided that only the federal government can enforce immigration laws, so the state can't penalize a person or driver for not carrying proof of their citizenship. Federal law trumps Louisiana's law in this matter. No matter how well-intentioned or good-natured Louisiana's law is supposed to be, the federal law is what trumps here. Attorney Chad Eigerd made that argument at the Louisiana Supreme Court and represented clients who had been driving and were arrested for not carrying proof of their immigration status. The Louisiana Supreme Court ruled in his favor. People driving, trying to get to work, trying to, you know, put food on their table, um, that kind of thing. They're not going to be taken away from their families for a year for this crime. If they commit some other crime, just like you or I, they're subject to the penalties and the ramifications of, of their actions. But for simply trying to drive and exist in Louisiana, then they no longer can be uh, held in jail for up to a year. District Attorney Mike Harson says he doesn't have plans to appeal the Supreme Court's decision. I didn't necessarily see where it was inconsistent with the federal, federal rules, but apparently the courts see it differently, so uh, we're, we're bound by those decisions. In Lafayette, I'm Allison Bourne-Vanak for KTC TV3. Now our investigative team crunched the numbers and found that in the past five years, about 300 people were arrested in Lafayette Parish for driving without proof of their immigration status. We also found that out of the arrests, which listed the person's ethnicity, all but one was Hispanic and nearly half of the arrests were made after involvement in a vehicle accident. In other news, two men are facing charges this